It's the holiday season, and I am in the unique position to be able to give good ocarina recommendations given my 11 years of experience with the instrument. So you'll watch this ocarina gift guide for an ocarinist in your life, or for yourself. Probably yourself. But either way, great ocarina gifts for the holidays. Affiliate links for everything in the description and use code Andy at Songbird Ocarinas for a little discount. Using my affiliate links and codes are the best way to support the channel, other than liking and subscribing. So to you, my kind, considerate, helpful viewers, please support the channel. Okay. We will split this into three sections, for beginners, for Zelda fans, and for advanced tutors. Let's get started. If this is somebody's very first ocarina, I highly recommend either the Knight by Noble or the Bravura Alto C. The Knight by Noble and the Bravura Alto C by Focalink are arguably the very best starter plastic ocarinas. Plastic is virtually indestructible, so you won't break them. They're very affordable, so you won't break the bank. And they're really good instruments, so you won't break anyone's eardrums. If you need any more convincing, you can watch my reviews on both of them. Otherwise, the Knight by Noble and Bravura are both on Amazon, but the Bravura is also on Songbird. Use code Andy for a discount. Next up, we have method books. If you don't know how to play the ocarina or even don't know how to read sheet music, a method book will get you more than started. On Amazon, you can buy the Hal Leonard method book by Chris Gale. You can buy Serious Ocarina Player by Robert Hickman on Songbird. And you can buy How to Play Ocarina by David Eric Ramos on his website. I've never used any of these books because I learned how to play before they were written, but the ocarina community at large speaks very highly of all of them. So if you're just getting started on the ocarina or are buying for a new ocarina player, these are a great option to help them get started. If you want to start fleshing out your or someone you love's new ocarina collection, I also recommend getting a nice little pendant ocarina. Pendants are small, but they're really nice little instruments. And they really let you take the music with you. I really like the selection that Songbird has. I used to carry this one with me all the time. And I would have music at the ready wherever I go. And last, do not get any unreputable ocarina from Amazon. If you're not sure whether a vendor on Amazon is reputable, do not buy from them. I've listened to reputable instruments like the Knight by Noble and the Bravura, but most listings on Amazon are like really crappy, horrible Ocarina of Time replicas or other cheap ceramic ocarinas that are most likely to be out of tune and sound bad. So don't buy random ocarinas on Amazon. The theme of this video is to get a good gift, not a horrible instrument that will dissuade you or someone you love from ever trying an ocarina ever again. Moving on to Zelda replicas. I would recommend both Songbird and STL's Ocarina of Time replicas. Songbird edges out in the aesthetic by a pretty wide margin, but STL's is a perfectly respectable instrument. So you can get anything from the 12 full Ocarina of Time replica, a double Ocarina of Time replica, both of these from Songbird, or any number of Zelda inspired instruments from STL's. STL. Whether that's your Alto C replica with a songbook, or a Hylian shield, or a rupee. I've never owned any of these novelty instruments from STL, but they look really fun and I've heard pretty good things about them. Similarly, you could get a Triforce pendant from Songbird, I also have this one and really like it, or a Zelda songbook, because most people I know know the ocarina from Zelda, so they will want to be playing these songs, so give them a head start. Or yourself a head start because this might be just for you. Buy yourself the Zelda songbook. <laughs> but all in all, if you want to get a Zelda-themed ocarina-related gift, whether that's a replica, a songbook, or some novelty instrument, go to Songbird or go to STL. Great choices all around. And once again, I urge you not to buy random Ocarina of Time replicas from Amazon. If you see an Ocarina of Time replica between $15 to $35, run away. Buy from a reputable vendor instead. Legitimately, the only decent instrument on this page right here is the plastic one in the middle. But that's because it's by Songbird. This is yet another PSA to not buy ocarinas from Amazon unless you know who the vendor is. If you want a Zelda replica, buy from STL, buy from Songbird, and if Spencer's selling, buy from Spencer. But I think he's not taking orders right now. Now, here's one for all those advanced tutors out there. I would consider an advanced tutor somebody who's been playing the ocarina for a while, probably has a little collection, and is getting pretty good with it. In this case, you'd probably want to start with like recording equipment, because maybe they want to record their music, put it on TikTok, put it on YouTube, put it wherever. Or you might want to do those things. <laughs> this could be a gift for you. But in that case, I would highly recommend the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB mic. This was the mic I used until I got my Shure SM7B. It is a really solid solid, affordable mic. On a similar note, the Elgato Wave 1 is also a really good mic option. It's on sale all the time and it usually goes as low as $50, which is an amazing deal for this amazing microphone. And to show how amazing this microphone is, you can watch my video where I compare it to the Shure SM7B. 
card above. But all in all, a solid microphone for recording is a great choice for the budding ocarina player in your life. On the even more advanced side, there's an amazing product called Mr. Mute, made by the Japanese jazz ocarinist named Milt. Mr. Mute has a very steep learning curve and is not very easy to start using, but it has an amazing, amazing feature. If you blow very gently into an ocarina, you'll get something called overtones, which are basically much quieter on pitch versions of the same sound. I'll do a quick comparison of a regular note and the overtone of it. Mr. Mute restricts the airflow going into your ocarina. With some customization of how it works, this allows you to play at full breath pressure while getting quiet overtones so you can practice without bothering anyone. If you annoy your roommates, neighbors, and or family with your ocarina practice, or if you are annoyed by the ocarina practice of a musician in your life, use Mr. Mute to shut up the ocarina. My friend Mark Chan has a really good explainer on how to use Mr. Mute. I'll link to that in the description, but I will also make a video about it soon. As you can see, it is much, much quieter to use Mr. Mute. I really highly recommend the selection from Songbird Ocarina, and some of these ocarinas, such as the Double Sweet Potatoes, either in Alto C, Tenor G, or Bass C, are supplied by Focalink, also known as Stein. And they are an extremely reputable Taiwanese ocarina company. My favorite multi-chamber from Songbird is the Triple Harmony. I have a whole video on it, but it's not a typical triple ocarina. But it's so pretty, and it sounds so good, and it's so fun to play and has really unique utility. That utility being much easier to play harmonies. I also recommend the extremely affordable selection of ocarinas from Imperial City. You can get a triple bass ocarina from them for $150. That is absurdly affordable, and they're really good. I have a video on them. I have one of their triple bass Cs, and it's one of my favorite ocarinas. So they are a very legit company despite the very low prices. And last, I also really enjoy the Coda Everyday Carry Flute. I made a video review on it recently, and I thoroughly enjoyed the Coda and all of its unique quirks. All in all, if there's an ocarinist in your life or you are an ocarinist, get more ocarinas. Get an ocarina. Get an ocarina. <laughs> But yeah, if you or someone in your life wants an ocarina this holiday season, just find a reliable vendor like Songbird, Imperial City, STL, and buy an ocarina. Whether it's a Zelda replica, a multi-chamber, or something entirely different, they'll probably be happy to add it to their collection. As long as it's not a cheap, crappy Amazon ocarina from an unreputable vendor. I will not let you get one of those. Do not get one. Please. I think these are pretty good recommendations. If you've noticed, I've made a video about more than half of the things on this list. These aren't just recommendations in video form with affiliate links to make a cash grab. They're recommendations based off of 11 years of experience with the Ocarina. Recommendations to help people make informed decisions they can be proud of as gifts or for themselves with affiliate links to make a little bit of a cash grab. Tis the season, baby! So last off, I really hope this guide helped you. Whether you're buying an ocarina or ocarina accessory for yourself or someone in your life, be sure to use the affiliate links in the description and use code Andy on Songbird Ocarina for a small discount. And since I have made videos going over a lot of the things I mentioned, if you're curious about anything, watch the video on it. Whether that's the Night by Noble, Mic Demos, the Songbird Harmony Triple, the Coda Everyday Carry Flute, or something else. And even more thanks if you use the affiliate links or use code Andy on Songbird Ocarina to buy somebody a gift while helping support the channel. And if you do buy something, let me know in the comments what it is. I'd love to hear. So thanks again, leave a like, subscribe for more, watch some video next, and I'll see you next time. Happy tootin' and happy holidays.